the CDCA now partners with cooperatives, helping Nicaraguans set up worker-owned businesses. If you want to be in a cooperative, you've got to worry about everything, worry about everyone doing their job in a coordinated manner, so that not just your piece of the puzzle gets taken care of, but all the pieces of the puzzle come together to provide an end product. And to do that while giving everyone voice and vote in how it's done, is no easy task. After Hurricane Mitch, a group of women refugees from Nueva Vida joined together to build a sewing cooperative with the CDCA's help. They became the world's first worker-owned free trade zone and now operate their business independently. But the cooperative needed cloth, and the CDCA responded to that need by moving into organic cotton production, ginning and baling of the cotton, and soon to come, spinning. In February of 2007, 30 women and men organized into a cooperative, Genesis, which will spin organic cotton into yarn. The members of Genesis have been working together for two years with no pay, building their factory by hand from the ground up. I have love to the cooperatives. I know that we all have different characters, but we have to Tratar de convivir con esos caracteres. <laughs> the commitment, the cooperation, the joining together. This is where hope blossoms. The members of Genesis want to own their own work, their own sweat and ingenuity. These women and men believe in things unseen. They believe in better days. They have to. Hope is all they have. Hope, time, and labor. A mí me sostiene la esperanza de darle una buena educación a mis hijos en el futuro para que ellos se puedan desempeñar en un buen trabajo. Y yo digo que también esa es la visión de cada uno de nosotros los socios de la cooperativa, que en, en un futuro le vamos a dar lo mejor a nuestros hijos y que no pasen lo que nosotros estamos pasando. Working together with the CDCA, the members of Genesis have risked everything to build a better future. The CDCA understands their risk and has chosen to share that risk with them through the establishment of the VITA Fund, a shared risk investment fund that partners with the poor to build lives through livelihood. The VITA Fund is all about poor people having access to the capital they need to make their good ideas a reality. Businesses like Genesis fall into a financing gap. They need significant investment to get started, but lack financial history and collateral. Banks are afraid of risking their money, but the poor have already risked everything. They risk working years for no pay. Together with cooperatives like Genesis, the CDCA's fund bridges the financial gap, loaning startup money for construction and equipment at low interest rates over extended periods. The CDCA partners with cooperatives to ensure they have the tools they need to run their businesses successfully. And the CDCA partners with people who invest in the fund to share the risk. And the investors, together with the CDCA, give co-ops the chance they need to succeed and give them hope. The Vita Fund is just about sharing the risk. We are all globally connected and we have a responsibility to help each other. We have to help each other. In all aspects of its work, the CDCA tries to use appropriate technology and connects people with technological expertise with those who need it. An engineer familiar with using Nicaraguan materials and building techniques worked together with Genesis to plan the construction of the spinning plant as simply as possible while making it safe for earthquakes and hurricanes. A group of college students from the U.S. taught Josue to take used cooking oil and turn it into diesel fuel at the CDCA's biodiesel processor for the organization's vehicles and generators. Now Josue has traveled to other Central American countries teaching other groups this technique. The El Porvenir Coffee Co-op has never had access to potable water. They collect rainwater during the rainy season, but during the dry season they have to limit themselves to only two gallons of water per person per day. 
now working together with the CDCA and a group of engineers, they have installed a pipeline and are pumping water three kilometers straight to the top of their mountain, where people need water. Hay un logro que ha sido también que eso ha sido un sueño tener agua en la comunidad que es un proyecto muy grande y que es saludable porque por historia la comunidad no cuenta con luz eléctrica ni con los servicios básicos pues ni agua. The CDCA's work in education includes business training for partner co-ops, organic training for farmers, and technical training for health professionals. But the organization focuses on educating those in the global north, mainly in the U.S. and Europe, about the realities in Nicaragua, hosting delegations and individual volunteers in Nicaragua, and speaking in the U.S., connecting people north and south to work together for sustainable change. In all its projects, the CDCA strives to work together with communities in an integral way to help them improve their lives on their own terms. The coffee cooperative El Porvenir teaches us a good lesson about being connected in these trying times. They have protected their natural forest which shades their coffee. They were beside the enormous mudslide that killed over 2,000 people during Hurricane Mitch. Their trees held the earth in place and no one in their community lost a life. They are environmentally conscious and use only organic pest controls because they know that the earth provides for them. Their co-op is made up of people who were all bitter enemies within the history of Nicaragua. Men who were part of the dictator Somoza's National Guard, ex-Sandinista fighters, ex-Contra rebels. Yet today they work and live together in peace, united with each other. And the CDCA joins them in their struggle against poverty. Como miembro de una comunidad y líder comunitario, la fundación ha sido un ejemplo cómo deben de trabajar las fundaciones de, de la mano con los productores, con la comunidad, con el desarrollo económico y social. When everyone in the world can realize that everyone is just like them and deserves a chance just like them, then the world will be a totally different place. Cuando estamos organizadas, es mejor en conjunto el trabajo. Se nos hace más fácil, avanzamos más en nuestro trabajo, en nuestro proyecto y vamos adelante todos juntos. Join the CDCA in working together with these phenomenal people. Love is an action. If you act in love, love will come back.